The first weekend of the Wattsville Film Festival is in the books. It's the 11th year of the festival, which highlights more than movies, also music and art. Action News 8 reporter Leslie Duarte has more on the artwork of Juan Fuentes, showcased at the Wattsville Film Festival this weekend. Both of my parents uh, had no schooling, no education, neither could read or write, but we had a family and we worked in these fields. That is 73-year-old renowned artist and Watsonville native Juan Fuentes. Fuentes graduated from Watsonville High School at a time when art classes were not available to Chicano students. We didn't have any galleries. The downtown galleries weren't showing our work. The museums weren't interested in our work. So we had to create our own venues for it. Fuentes took his first art class at the University of San Francisco. That is where he learned to use his designs on woodcuts, screen prints, and posters to tell the stories of farm workers and other political issues. Fuentes says the social movements inspired his work and empowered him to keep going. I embraced it because I knew exactly what it meant for people working in the fields. Consuelo Alba, the executive director of the Watsonville Film Festival, was one of Fuentes' art students at Cabrillo College, and she invited him to present his artwork at the film festival. It's very, very powerful work that we can all connect with because we can all identify with it. Fuentes' pieces continue to inspire artists far beyond the print on the pages. The way he expresses the message of his people um, really resonates with me, so i just fallen in love with the way he creates his work. The exhibit showcases and features more than 50 pieces of Fuentes' artwork throughout his life. It will be on display at the Pajaro Valley Arts Center in Watsonville. Leslie Duarte, KSVW Action News 8.